Welcome to the first in a series of videos about the future. This is Charles Mosser speaking. In these broadcasts, we will discuss what the future of technology will look like in a variety of industries and in exacting detail, including computers, spaceflight, medicine, transportation, and even the possibility of time travel, one of my favorite topics. This production is brought to you by the Mastercraft Law Firm, which is dedicated to the development of future technology and the intellectual property of our clients with over nine offices to serve you across Texas. In addition to technology law, we're all about the future of business, the startup of new companies and acquisitions and litigation defense of all of those assets. To put my comments in perspective, I've been a lawyer for over 36 years with a focus on IP, computer law, and litigation. I'm also a computer programmer and the founder of SpeakSoft, LLC, a software development company dedicated to creating the first AI which can pass the Turing test. This first edition discusses the effect of advanced computer programs on the American economy and the anticipation of biocomputers coming online by 2050. Whether you are an employer or an employee, you better put your seatbelt on because the ride is starting now. Well, let's get started. The workforce and economy of 2050 will be unrecognizable. The end result will be entirely based on the advent of advanced and conscious computer systems or biocomputers. The rollout of these systems will displace entire sectors of the workforce well before the emergence of these biocomputers, which I have predicted by or before 2050. The advent of advanced software evidenced by my own product, SpeakSoft and my company, will initiate the labor transformation process in the early 2020s as the first strata of employees is replaced by computer systems. By 2022-2023, that's the period we're in right now, computer programs featuring the ubiquitous menu of options will begin to fade away like the passenger pigeon, and nobody is going to complain about it. The new software will resemble current chat boxes and feature neural networks that answer customer questions in real time with an interpersonal flair and even personalities. In my view, the customer service representatives in all industries, including the entire complement of receptionists and operators, will be replaced by nimble AI systems capable of replicating human behavior. That will all happen now through 2030. These innovative programs should pass the Turing test with gusto. The progression of these systems will increase not just quantitatively but qualitatively as the algorithms combined with neural networks and new code take on the first level of professionals and technocrats. In my own field, entry-level attorneys will be fundamentally replaced by computers as this new system is incorporated within the legal community and also the medical and accounting fields. The same progression as well will include banking, engineering, and other so-called professional sectors. By the year 2050, the advent of the first conscious computers will ultimately replace the last vestige of professional classes as these systems will be able to handle the direct information from first-tier systems. The effect on our economy and society will be profound. From a macro perspective, entire segments of the workforce will be eliminated, not unlike the eradication of such extinct professions as blacksmiths. The trillion-dollar question is what will happen to the millions of workers who occupied the various strata of working America, including blue-collar workers and customer service representatives and even professionals. And by the way, although I didn't mention it earlier, blue-collar workers will also be replaced as AI combined with robotics take over all of the remaining positions that are left in any assembly capacity, including the auto and aerospace industries. There will be nothing left for blue-collar workers to perform, including trucking throughout the United States. By the 2030s, there will be a massive displacement of personnel as all of these positions will be eliminated. Workers will be unable to retool as the open positions require immense training and education, which they lack. Unemployment will skyrocket to unimaginable levels, requiring the intervention of government to dispel civil unrest and to avoid human suffering and even starvation. The economic cost will be gargantuan and cause further disruption at all levels of government, which will be unable to systemically adjust. Without adaptation at the political, social, and economic level, our current economic and governmental systems will crash as they are predicated 
predicated upon a strong middle class and mass consumption of products across the board. There will be no one left to buy the products and services which are being produced by the revolution of computer systems. It seems like a bizarre high-tech catch-22. The economy could be increasingly polarized to stave off the negative effects of the Amazoning of America. This term, which I have coined, represents the current trend in our economy, whereby companies like Amazon hire millions of workers to populate massive distribution centers. This will proliferate even more in the wake of computer advances and employment dislocation. There will be further stratification between the extremely poor or just subsisting and the rich and very rich and well-educated. The problem is that the advances in automation and the use of robotic technology and AI will eventually replace the armies of assemblers and distributors working for the Amazons and Walmarts of America and the world. Every function will be replaced by robots at the first throttle of the economy and managed by conscious level computers ultimately. This will include everyone from garbage pickup to mail and the delivery personnel and on up. The quagmire here is that the rollout of these new systems will ultimately destroy the very labor force necessary to buy the products and services. If one were to plot this on a graph, unemployment may possibly skyrocket to perhaps 75% as income is distributed to the top 2%. And I sure hope I'm wrong, but I don't think so. The comparison of this phenomenon to a virus is not an opposite, as the emerging technology will eventually extinguish its host, most of the American economy. This will be the greatest challenge to capitalism ever encountered. Ultimately, our political and social systems will be upended and forced to adapt or collapse. The effect will be as profound as the replacement of feudal society during the Industrial Revolution. And with that, I will conclude the very first edition of our series about the future, economics, and of course, law. This is Charles Mosser speaking. I sure hope I'm wrong, but I don't think so. And I wish everyone continued prosperity. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate it.